been in high level now for five years, was in Fort St. John for nine years, before that South African, qualified in 1978, so even in South Africa I was at university um, lecturing for four years, then went to uh, remote areas and went back to semi rural area for four years and then came back to Canada, came over to Canada. So 30, 36 years I've been doing it. As far as uh, recruitment is concerned, I've been actively in, in the recruitment from 1986. My passion for a very long time has been First Nations medicine. I like First Nations medicine. It's, um, it was just a challenge. And I love the outdoor, I, lo I, love, I love rural areas, not that I do a lot. Well, in a place like Assumption, we three guys going there. When we started here, they had no clinics. Um, they're 100 kilometers away, so it's difficult for people to come in. So we go there three times a week. And um, we've seen a big change since we've gone there for the last five years. So it, it definitely made a difference. Uh, initially, it was challenging. We were only three doctors here, so doing uh, working extremely hard. But then you get the guys into, and you get people in that, that you know will work at the end of the area. In our the last two years, every resident that was here would want to have come back here yeah, if we had a spot for them. And, and, the, and the nice thing about the rural areas, it's, it's not everybody that likes rural medicine, but it's, uh, it's horses for courses, you know, and most of, it, most of the good recruiting to rural areas is done by word of mouth. It's a physician knowing somebody that he wants to bring in. I think another thing that has really, really helped a lot is the resident program. Because people come out here and they actually see that it's not so scary. And it's actually very nice.